Oh. Hey guys, it's me Miranda, and today I decided to talk about high school and SOAR. Those are two things people really struggle with, but I did really good on them. I decided to be really nice, really generous, really caring, and help you guys out with that. So high school. I did really well in high school. I got all A's. SOAR equips you with the tools you need for high school, like note taking. We took notes on note taking. We took notes on what? SOAR requires you to keep a journal so that you can keep all your homework, all your assignments, your tests and quizzes. SOAR helps you prepare for all of those and be responsible for all of those. In SOAR, we, we plan ahead, we, we make a calendar sometimes, and we write assignments due, projects, um, tests and quizzes, and we talk about what we want to be in the future and how we'll have to prepare for that, so that really helps. If you want to pass SOAR with an A, like I did, you want You can't cheat! Cheating is for sinner! No plagiarizing, no cheating on homework, I'm watching you, no cheating on tests, you can't do that because SOAR doesn't have tests, but don't cheat! Just don't cheat! That's called academic dishonesty and you can get a referral for that you can even get re ex 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 expelled expelled for that that's really dangerous as i said you need to be organized responsible i think it's really important because you need to be organized you need to have all your homework your homework. You need to be responsible for your work. Very responsible. And the teachers are going to really like you. And if you're responsible, colleges are going to like it. And you're going to get into good college. You have to have a positive attitude. Look at me. This is called positive attitude. In order to learn, you need to be excited, very excited to learn, so you can get all the stuff and be really smart and get an A, get to go college. If you're needing some extra points, if you're having a bad grade in the class, you're doing um, very terribly and horribly, and you need extra credit. Extra credit in this class is called XP. So if you want XP in the class, you can take Cornell notes in any other classes. Um, just participate in um, discussions on Edmodo. You can do that and things like that also the four-point grading scale so um, a four is an A, um, three is a B, two is a C, you know all that, one's an F, no, A, B, C, D. And during SOAR you're gonna write two essays, you have to research a lot and you can't procrastinate because if you procrastinate, you're going to be like this. You're going to have to stay.
stay on for the whole night. So don't do your final essays on the final day. You're going to be doing pre-writes, um, first draft, second draft, things like that during class. So you don't have to worry about that. Mrs. Reed and Mr. Seinhauser are bays. They're my bays. I got better grades. I got A pluses. Some skills I learned in SOAR are responsibility, taking notes. I can take notes on whatever I wish to do. I can take notes on my bangs. I can take notes on my uncle. Help me become dedicated so I would get A's in all my classes, become a good student responsible for my actions there you have it i hope you like this video if you liked it give it a thumbs up or else i need to turn this off